Hey guys, welcome to our 11th lesson of our certification training for the exam MO300, so Microsoft Office Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019 and in today's lesson we will start third chapter of the objectives for the exam which is to insert and format text, shapes and images and specifically in today's lesson we will learn something about applying formatting and styles to text, formatting text in multiple columns, creating balloted and numbered lists, and we'll also learn about inserting hyperlinks, inserting section zoom links and slide zoom links, as well as inserting and formatting images. So let's start immediately with the first objective, a blank and formatic, formatic and styles to text. And for that I will switch to a dedicated presentation. Perfect. So applying formatting and styles to text. So here you have, for example, a text box and all the text formatic options you have here. So you can choose font, you can choose font size, increase font size, decrease font size, you can make it bold, italic, underlined and so on. So I think you pretty much know these options. If you can't find the one that you are required on the exam here, then you can always have more options by clicking at the arrow down below. So here we have additional settings, for example, for for all caps, small caps, equalize character height and so on. Also, for example, character spacing. Another formatting options are available, he available here. So, for example, we can change the alignment of the text within the text box, so we can make it center, right, left, we can also change the alignment vertically, which is done here. Align text top, middle and bottom, as you can see. We can also, for example, change the text direction like that. We can always choose more options, for example, to set the margin and the angle, perhaps. Okay, so these are some basic formatting options you should know for the exam. Next up we have, for example, ap applying styles to text. And what is meant by that is that in Microsoft PowerPoint as well as in the other products we have, for example, word art styles. So in the exam you might be required, for example, to set to a certain title a specific word out and so again you have to be comfortable in looking through these options and quickly finding the desirable word, word art and you have to look at this, these names specifically like that so let's move on to another objective which is to format text in multiple columns this is also done by the home tab so let's for example choose this text box and let's smash it a little like that mm, let's leave it so in order to make it into multiple columns we choose under the paragraph option here and we can choose one column two columns three columns so let's choose two columns and as you can see when I make the text box smaller it automatically moves the elements to the other column okay and when you want some more customizations you can also click more columns and here you can enter the number of columns and the spacing between them so we might for example increase the spacing let's do to two inches and as you can see the spacing has increased like that perfect next up we have creating bulleted and numbered lists so let's maybe yeah revert the changes and to make the text bulleted 
you have the option here, so ballots, and when you click this option you can see the simple ballots, but of course by clicking the arrow you can choose more options and there are there is a variety of customizations when you click ballots and numeric, so for example you can customize your ballot to a certain character, for example this symbol, you can change the color of the ballot like that and here you can see our ballots and to make the text or text box numbered you have the this option right to right to the right of <laughs> this uh, ballot option so we have the numbering option as you can see when we click it it cl creates symbol simple numbering from one to one from one upwards and you can also choose alphabetical small caps and so on and also choose other options for numbering so that's about it another objective is to insert hyperlinks so for example let's choose this international space station title and you can simply right mouse click and select to insert or to transform the text into a link but let's do it the proper way and to do that we go to the insert tab and under the links category you can choose to insert your links so as you can see we can insert a link to an existing file or a web page so in this case we have our text to display which is selected international space station and we can insert the address like that so i have inserted the address to the official or to the english wikipedia page of the iss you can also see that we can insert a link to a place in this document we can also create a new document and to email and to the email address okay so let's click ok let's insert the link to the web page and now if you want to use this link as you can see we can click control and click this link but I'm not going to do that right now you can also notice that the link is currently blue and if you don't like that we can and should change that because the contrast at the moment is bad so to do that we have to go to the design tab click here under the variant so click here choose colors, customize colors and here you can change the color of a hyperlink so let's set it for example to um, to gold okay and as you can see the color has changed so perfect and the last to the last objective of today's lesson is to insert section zoom links and slide zoom links so let's begin with the section zoom links and in order to be able to insert them we have to have sections in our presentations so let's just generate a few so let's click for example here mission controls like that another section crew and crew health and safety and yeah we can create the last section here for example so mm -hmm. sightings from earth sightings from uh, perfect and let's now create section zoom links after the or into the contents slide so we have to go to the insert tab and under the links category choose zoom section zoom and now you can see all our sections let's say so I'm interested in just these three let's insert them perfect got it 
as you can see you can pretty much format it like a photo or an object rather so we can for example make them smaller we can uh, change their angle and so on so let's just leave them here and when you click on the zoom link you have other options here so you can see that after we click on this link in our slideshow and go through the slides then we will return to zoom so let's just try that out let's go to the slideshow tab this should be okay and now let's click mission control next slide next slide next slide and you can see that we are back so perfect that is how you insert section zoom links and next up we can also insert slide zoom links so let's insert slide zoom just for the manufacturing slide perfect and as you can see slide zoom links aren't by default set to return to zoom so it would mean that when we click on the manufacturing we simply go to that place in our presentation and go on and continue okay but if we want to if we would like to return to our slide we have to manually set in the zoom settings to return to zoom like that and now we should return to our zoom perfect so yeah guys that is all for today's lesson i hope you find it valuable if so smash that like button support the channel by subscribing and yeah i, I will see you in the next video bye